When it comes to online advertising for an e-commerce store, there are lots of options like text ads and banners. But for e-commerce, shopping ads are the real game changer. They are like a virtual storefront right there in search results. So it's worth figuring out how to structure them well. Hi, I'm Andre, and that's exactly what we'll do today. Break down the main ways to structure your shopping campaigns from the basics of standard shopping and performance max campaigns to some common account setups. We'll answer why it matters to split shopping campaigns, what to expect from the performance max campaign and feed only performance max campaign options. We'll then look at typical shopping structures and finally tackle some frequently asked structuring questions. So get ready to explore the world of shopping campaigns structuring. Why structure shopping campaigns? While combining all your products into one Google Shopping campaign is technically possible, splitting them into smaller groups often unlocks significant advantages for your operational efficiency and account performance. From a logistical standpoint, dividing campaigns can be beneficial in a couple of ways. Managing products across different countries. Separate campaigns per country enable tailored language, bidding, and performance tracking. Optimizing seasonal products. Dedicated campaigns for seasonal items like winter apparel allow you to easily pause them during off-seasons, avoiding wasted ad spend. Beyond logistics, though, separating campaigns also enhances your optimization capabilities. It helps to meet spending targets. You can allocate resources precisely by category, country, or other criteria. Conducting controlled experiments. Test new strategies within isolated campaigns to assess the impact on performance more effectively. However, the real value of splitting campaigns lies in the ability to optimize for performance. By creating separate campaigns for different product groups, for example, best sellers versus regular products, promotional versus non-promotional items, discounted versus full priced, low stock versus overstocked, you can apply customized settings and strategies to each group maximizing their individual performance potential. What are Google Shopping campaign minimum requirements? Before launching your Google Shopping or PMX campaigns, let's take a moment to ensure you have the necessary foundation in place. This checklist highlights the key elements you need. Google Ads account. Naturally, you'll need an active Google Ads account to manage your campaigns and track their performance. Conversion tracking. Measuring success is crucial. Google Ads offers its own native conversion tracking, which is recommended for optimal integration. Alternatively, you can import conversion data from Google Analytics. Merchant Center account. This platform houses your product data, which fuels your shopping campaigns. Set up a dedicated Merchant Center account to manage your product information efficiently. Product feed. Populate your Merchant Center with a comprehensive product feed. At least provide optimized titles for clear identification. To truly shine, though, aim to include detailed product information like sizes, colors, and accurate product categories, and other things. Remember that while meeting the minimum requirements will get you started, the more vibrant and detailed your product feed is, the better your ads can perform. Think of it as dressing your virtual shop window to attract clicks and conversions. What to expect from Performance Max and how to avoid early mistakes. Performance Max campaign type allows to advertise across multiple channels. It combines the strength of shopping, search, YouTube, display, and discover ads, potentially reaching a wider audience than traditional shopping campaigns. While PMX prioritizes shopping ads, it can also spend on other ad types like search, video, and display. This means you might incur non-shopping costs. These costs, while not trackable in the Google Ads interface, can be easily evaluated with the help of excellent and free third-party scripts. Performance fluctuation. Be prepared for an initial dip in performance at the start or after significant campaign changes. This learning period allows PMAX to gather and analyze conversion data. To minimize the learning period, resist the urge to make frequent adjustments during the initial stages. When changes are necessary, opt for smaller, less frequent updates. Aim for weekly budget adjustments with a 20% range and apply the same principle to bidding strategies. 
limited reporting features. While Performance Max offers a streamlined campaign experience, its reporting capabilities are currently limited. This might not be a major concern for smaller accounts, but larger accounts with intricate control needs might find the available data insufficient. Standard shopping campaigns offer more comprehensive reporting capabilities and may be a better option to satisfy your specific needs. By understanding these key aspects of PMAX, you can set realistic expectations and implement strategies to unlock its full potential. Shopping only Performance Max. Essentially, Shopping only Performance Max attempts to nudge a Performance Max campaign towards prioritizing shopping ads. You can set this up via Google Ads or Google Editor, as explained in my linked videos for deeper information. While the idea of harnessing Performance Max power for only shopping ads is tempting, it's essential to understand its limitations and temporary nature. Uncertain shopping focus. While aiming for only shopping ads, there is no guarantee. Google might still automatically add text and video assets, potentially leading to non-shopping traffic. Official discouragement. Despite acknowledging this method, Google doesn't officially recommend it. This raises concerns about potential future changes, possibly even removing the ability to create shopping-only PMAX campaigns altogether. Therefore, consider Shopping Only PMX a temporary testing ground. Experiment with it, but ultimately be prepared to switch to full asset PMX or standard shopping if it doesn't deliver the desired results. Shopping campaign structures. Choosing the right campaign structure for your Google Shopping ads can feel overwhelming. Let's explore four common approaches focusing on their setup, features, and potential benefits. Standard Shopping Starter. This setup is ideal for new accounts or those with under 30 monthly shopping conversions. It allocates the entire budget to the shopping ads in a single campaign and focuses on generating initial traffic and conversions via manual bidding. This setup will prioritize cost control and detailed data analysis, which involves a slightly more complex setup compared to Performance Max. While less user-friendly than PMAX, it offers better cost and tracking controls. Lower performance gains than PMAX are possible due to limited data. A big benefit of this approach is in limiting early budget fluctuations associated with PMAX and it paves the way for a natural progression to Performance Max later on, when the account has accumulated sufficient data. PMAX Turbo this option offers easiest setup and management among all structures, with the potential for above-average performance. This bidding option of max conversions of max conversion value, set without performance targets, ensures that monthly budget won't be exceeded. Please note that while a single performance max campaign can be used also on a new account, the risk of wasted ad spend and suboptimal returns is very high and I don't recommend PMAX unless the account generates 30 monthly shopping conversions. The next is the Performance Max split campaign structure. As your Google Shopping campaigns generate momentum reaching at least 60 conversions per month, you can unlock additional optimization opportunities through a PMAX split campaign structure. This approach focuses on maximizing efficiency by dividing your products into several PMAX campaigns based on performance or category. Here's how it works in a two-campaign example. For the best sellers campaign, allocate 60% of your budget and utilize the maximize conversion value bidding strategy. This lets your top performance shine without budget constraints. For the regulars campaign, invest 40% of your budget and adopt a maximized conversions with target ROAS bidding strategy to achieve specific performance goals. This ensures cost efficiency for products requiring more control. As a crucial tip, identify best sellers from your store's internal data or Google Analytics reports, not from your Google Ads. Best sellers in Google Ads will indicate products with initial clicks, which might not always translate to final sales, so prioritizing true top performance is key. While a PMAX split structure involves slightly more complexity compared to a single PMAX campaign, the setup and management remains quite streamlined. The real challenge lies in strategically dividing products, allocating budgets, and selecting appropriate bidding strategies. The effort, however, pays off. 
A well-implemented PMX split campaign structure typically delivers greater effectiveness than a single PMX campaign by providing granular control and optimization potential for different product segments. Standard shopping split powerhouse. Granular control for high budget ads. For Google Ads accounts exceeding 20,000 per month in spending, maximizing granular control and optimization becomes a lot more important. This is where the standard shopping split campaign structure may still excel. Here's how it works in an example with an account generating over 200 conversions and featuring frequent promotions. For the promotional products campaign, allocate 40% of the budget and set a higher target ROAS for these high-performing items. This targeted approach maximizes their potential. For the standard products campaign, dedicate 50% of the budget to the remaining products within a slightly lower target ROAS for balanced performance and cost efficiency. Run a third catch-all campaign on all products with manual bidding and very low bids to capture any missed traffic at minimal cost. The power lies in flexibility and control options unavailable in Performance Max. You can leverage campaign priorities, fine-tune traffic distribution by prioritizing specific campaigns based on their importance, negative keywords, exclude irrelevant searches to attract more qualified leads and improve conversion rates. While this structure requires more upfront effort and active management, the potential payoff is significant. You gain the ability to precisely tailor strategies for different product segments optimize performance and ultimately achieve outstanding results. Note that it's possible to replace some of the standard shopping campaigns in this example with PMAX campaigns. Navigating the trade-offs, a look at the campaign structure options. When choosing a Google Shopping campaign structure, balancing ease of management with control and potential performance is key. Here's a quick comparison of the options we discussed. Performance max structure, single and split, are best in terms of ease of use. They are designed for simpler setup and management, ideal for accounts with 30 or more shopping conversions. They provide limited control over bids, keywords, and negative compared to standard campaigns. As far as performance goes, they can deliver good results but may not offer the same fine-tuning potential as standard campaigns. The standard campaigns are not as easy to use. They require more upfront effort and ongoing management, making them best for experienced users or high volume accounts. One caveat is that it's still the best option for new accounts or those with low monthly conversions. They offer the best granular control over bids, keywords, and campaign priorities for precise optimization. With performance, they have high potential for exceptional performance results, particularly with the standard split structure, optimized for different product segments. For most stores, PMAX single and split might be the optimal balance of ease and performance, especially with lower budgets and conversion volumes. However, larger accounts with the resources for active management may find the standard split structures, control and potential for outstanding results worth the extra effort. The key takeaway. Experimentation is crucial. Regardless of your initial choice, keep testing and refining your campaign structure to unlock the best performance for your specific needs and budget. Questions and answers. I've received some insightful questions about shopping campaign structures. Can I mix feed-only and full asset groups in PMAX? Technically, mixing them is possible, but the benefit is unclear to me. For bestsellers versus regulars, do you pick best products or categories? It depends on your bestsellers. If they belong to a single category, categorizing makes sense. If not, focusing on individual product IDs offers more precise control. Can I combine PMAX and standard shopping? Yes, but remember, PMAX prioritizes your products potentially overshadowing those in standard campaigns. Avoid overlap to ensure both structures get fair exposure. Can you target same products in multiple campaigns? Technically possible, but PMX usually dominates traffic, as we said before. However, a catch-all standard campaign can be valuable to capture searches PMX might miss, especially for initially unprofitable products. 
If you have more questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great day.